fight coming up next, a UFC featherweight division fight. the decorated kickboxer back for more here tonight and he's so comfortable in the striking realm it's almost like he started kickboxing before he ever was reading or writing oh it's unbelievable to see someone that's so comfortable under so much duress i know when you're in kickboxing range you are in the fire there is no safety you're right in range to be getting knocked out but he does not fear that he loves it he loves the he loves the combat loves the engagement, but what you have to understand is he's not engaging his opponents on their terms. He's doing it on his terms. Whether or not he wants to be in close with the big punches or he wants to be at range landing kicks, he's just constantly putting damage on you. Top, bottom, up, low, it does not matter. This guy is a dominant striker, one of the best kickboxers the UFC has ever seen. And in terms of the punching technique and the jab, as good as anyone in this division. I fear not the man who has practiced 10,000 kicks once, but I fear the man who has practiced one kick 10,000 times. Enter Bruce Lee. I mean, that's Bruce Lee in a nutshell. Over and over and over, he did the same thing, and it shows in the technique, because there's no wasted energy. There's no wasted movements. Everything he does, he does with a purpose. He goes in there with an idea of what he's trying to accomplish, and he gets it done. Bruce Lee is the absolute best. Bruce Lee is the man. His grappling, his takedown defense figure to be tested here tonight. But there aren't that many guys who are going to want to stand and trade on a napkin in the center of the octagon with the great Bruce Lee. No, if you're fighting Bruce Lee, you're shooting for takedowns right yeah. away. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. When the action begins, our referee in charge of the octagon, Dan Mergliata. This is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the sold out Madison Square Garden Arena in New York City. It's time! Five rounds in the UFC featherweight division. It's who does it first? Fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a kickboxer, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands five feet five inches tall, weighing in at 140 pounds. Assassin! And now to see his opponent, fighting at the red corner. This man is a mixed martial artist, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands five feet seven inches tall, weighing in at 145 pounds. Fighting at Los Angeles, California, USA, Bruce. The Dragon Lee! All right, Griffin, the rules in the locker room. I want you to obey my commands at all times, protect yourself at all times. I want a nice, clean, safe fight. Touch gloves, back your corners, come out fighting. in this matchup between these two big-time athletes. Throws a big right hand, but doesn't find its home. Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by this gentleman. Beautiful body kick. Oh, really using his reach advantage as he landed the jab there. Look at how he turns his hip into that leg kick. Big ball from punch man. Now we get back to range. We cross the midpoint in round one. No, 
Nice defense there. Huge block. That's a big hook. Huge strike hands there. Somehow his opponent stayed up with him. I mean, he's still on his feet, but he's not up by much. All right, so inside the open guard of his opponent. You gotta be careful playing around for too long here on the ground with this guy. Posturing up now. And now the damage is about to start. Oh, big combination of ground and pound strikes here, DC. This could be the beginning of the end. I mean, you gotta be very careful when you take these big ground and pound strikes. You need a controlled posture on the bottom. And if you're the top guy, the guy that's looking to finish, continue to gain posture and rain down big strikes on your opponent. Lee's pass attempt denied. Oh, this is not good. Mounted crucifix, all that body weight from the top position. This could be the beginning of the end. Yes, this could be the beginning of the end. This is a very, very bad position for the bottom guy. Top guy has moved into a position where he can finish the fight. He just needs to make sure that the trap he has set is still tended to so that the guy doesn't oh, escape him. Seconds winding down in the opening round. The horn sounds for the end of round one. All right, a lot of tremendous striking action in that last round, DC. I know you don't have a Telestrator, but take us through the replay. I mean, I would love to have my Telestrator right now. That was a great display of high-level mixed martial arts striking. Both combatants stood toe-to-toe -to -toe and let it all hang out. Second round here. Big kick. I mean, that right hand landed square. Oh, and he connects there. His hands look good tonight. So fast. I mean, this guy has tremendous hand speed. Well, we talked about that reach advantage as you see him land the straight punch there. Great job using his length in that situation. Well done to catch the kick. We'll see what he can do with it. Right hand punch from the clinch. Oh, big knee to the body. How'd he get that one home? He's loading up the high jet. Cable inches right there, boy. Wow. It was a good night if that landed. So he's really starting to put together some significant body shots here. These are going to take their toll as this fight goes on. Nice one-two there. So he's landed some good shots. You hate to be overly critical, but nothing really in terms of combinations. Well, the jab has been looking great. How about jab, jab, right hand? Right. Because eventually you're going to have to put something on your opponent that's going to really make him pause. I believe the jab has been working so well, if he drops a big right hand after it, he may be able to finish his fight. Ooh, what a head kick. Oh, beautiful combination of kicks. Big punch lands over the top. How's he gonna follow this one? Oh, continuing to work the body to great effect. Authority. 
lunges forward with a left there. Good series of punches by him there. He has been busy throughout. He's doing a great job with the hands. He looks like a professional boxer out there. Take a look back at some of the highlights from that last round, DC. A lot for the replay guys to choose from. I mean, these guys are going to be very busy trying to find what replay to show you guys. Lands on both sides of the octagon. Both guys fought great. What a phenomenal round. You ready? You ready? Let's go for it. Lands another strike to the body. Really started to pile up these body shots here in the latter stages of this fight. You didn't see a lot of that in the earlier rounds, making up for lost time here. Lee's punch to the body, rejected there by the defense. Nice job by the opponent. Nice stupid punch. Right hand upstairs. Look at him drive his shin into his opponent's body with that body kick. Continues to mix it up, going to the head, mixing in some body shots. Hands up! Oh, nice slip to avoid that right hand. Nice leg kick land. Oh, working in some solid leg kicks now. What a punch. Back and forth we go. Really using his reach advantage there with that land, DC. Back to his patented kicks here, but just out of range. Oh, lands another shot to the body, beautifully placed as he continues to punish his opponent's midsection here in this round. and it landed exactly as he was hoping for. Well, he's got the kicking game going tonight. Lands another one there. A beautiful kick, and all I can think of, better him than me. He's throwing every part of himself into these big leg kicks. It's very tricky when he throws that body kick. Well, this is exactly the sense of urgency you're looking for. Try to take the judges out of it. He is lighting them up now. Oh, nice slip there. It sounds simple, right? Hit and don't get hit. But this guy's defense has been sharp tonight. Cat and mouse. You got to play cat and mouse. Hit and don't get hit. He does a great job of that. Oh, combination lands. And it seemed like almost every strike found the target. He's so accurate when he decides to attack. It is a sight to behold. Man, he's timing his shots nicely. It's like Tom Brady out there. He hasn't been Oh, he's hurt bad. He's hurt bad, John. He's got to press him. He's got to go chase that finish down now. Good right here. 15 seconds remain in the round. What a round. Let's check out some of the action from that previous round, DC, and what a display on the feet. Huge knockdown with that kick. Yeah, he's a high-level striker. He throws these kicks to the body, he throws them low, but when he goes up top, he's very powerful, and he can end anybody's night. The toughness displayed by his opponent allowed him to stay in the fight, but he cannot take many more of those types of strikes. Continues to land a high number of strikes here, just like he did in the previous round. This is a world-class display of striking here tonight. Straight punch there, lands on the counter. Nice job using his reach advantage there. Mixes it up nicely in terms of staying heavy and also staying active. Nice punch lands over the top.
connection with a punch there. It's hard to recall a time in the past that his boxing looked this sharp. He's never looked this good. Powerful leg kick lands. Blocks the shot. Oh, looked like he might have been in range, but misses with the kick. Beautiful leg kick for him. Two minutes remain in the round. He got him with his hip into that kick. Look at the torso on the right side. Major bruising, and it's only getting worse. Starting to do some really significant damage to the body here. Another strike lands there. Oh, he might be out. Just misses with the jab. Going back to his patented kicks here, but unable to find the target there. Oh, yeah, right hand. 15 seconds. Nice punch by Lee. Nice. 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 So a huge round for him there. That head kick probably would have had me out for good. The guy survives to see another round. Yeah, but he'll go back to that. It landed so perfectly. He set it up great. He did a great job of mixing up the target early, going up high, and getting the desired result. So really starting to put it all together on the feet. And as his coaches suggested, making good use of his reach advantage. Big head kick land. Oh, another strike to the body. Not a lot of real estate there, but he found it. Nice leg kick. He's got a serious right punch, and he went to it effectively there. It is his money shot, and he will continue to throw it until he finds a knockout. Gotta be careful dipping his head when he's throwing that jab. Oh man, this guy kicks like a mule. So hard. Shot there, DC. He is officially rocked. A big, massive hook that really has put his opponent on skates. Effective strike there by Lee. Combination lands for him. He is really putting his strikes together tonight. I mean, he's feeling himself tonight, John. He's doing a great job of putting everything. Oh, that's a good right hand. Real sneaky body kick. And now they are throwing both sides with conviction. All right, it's late in the fight now. I don't need to be a judge to tell you that he is clearly losing. What is a fighter's mentality when you know you need a finish or you're getting an L? You got to go to the Nate Diaz mentality. Kill or be killed. You got to do everything at your opponent because if this thing goes for the judges, you are not going to win this fight. 
All right, well, both fighters pretty comfortable on the ground, DC, but you gotta be very careful hanging out here for too long if you're his opponent. And he landed the right hand there. Oh, nice work from the bottom. Tags him with the punch. Well, you see all the grappling repetitions here. Just beautiful movement, seamless transitions on them. Over and over, these guys are doing things that you see in every jiu-jitsu gym around the country. Oh, and he escapes up to his feet. Very nice. Nice straight punch. Nice body kick. Good job keeping that head off the center line. Slips to avoid the right hand. The official decision is in. It resides with Bruce Buff. Ladies and gentlemen, after five rounds, we go to the judges' scorecards for a decision. All three judges score the contest 50 45. For the winner, by unanimous decision, Bruce the Dragon Lee! All right, so there he is. The celebration is on. He tried to leave the judges out of it tonight, was unable to do that, but a pretty dominant effort nonetheless. He's your winner by unanimous decision. And you've got to feel good about that. You've got to feel good about dominating every aspect of a fight and getting a victory. He should be very proud of his performance tonight.